Now for this dish, you're going to want two blocks of tempeh and you want it cut in cubes about this big. We need three cloves of garlic, a bunch of asparagus, three tablespoons of peanut oil, two eggs, they're going to be beaten, brown rice, and some soy sauce. That's all you need for this very simple dish. You're gonna want a little pepper also to season. So, you stack two on one, and you just cut, and cut again. And you stack it all up. You're gonna cut it into small cubes. May break up a little bit, that's okay. The first thing you're going to do about 10 minutes before you start to cook, I'm using a bag of brown rice. Uh, you can use microwavable brown rice. You can cook brown rice the traditional way in a pan. It depends on how much time you have. I'm just going to put a bag of brown rice in the boiling water and then I'm going to take my tempeh and I'm going to steam it for about 10 minutes before I cook it in the wok. The reason I'm doing this is because if you don't, that tempeh has a a bitter taste to it so you just want to put it here and then put your cover on which is over here and you let that go for about 10 minutes we're gonna go from there we've already prepped our other stuff so let's wait 10 minutes my rice is done I've got it upside down I'm gonna drain it grab it by the other end it's gonna be hot once you get it that and you simply want to open the bag up Hopefully the buzzer is going to go off very soon. Keep this off to the side like that. Turn that one off. I'm going to turn that temperature off too. I'm going to grab your pot holder. I mean pot as in this kind of pot. It's nothing you hold marijuana in. And round and round. I regret that. I regret that. Lord of my, I feel my temperatures rising. Lord of my, I feel like I'm out of control. Holy. So now we've got our wok. If you don't have a wok, you can use a high side pan too. Make sure your stuff is going, and it is. This is going to heat up pretty quickly. You can take a paper towel or you can take a clean towel. Just kind of press it lightly. You don't want to smush it, but you want to get some of the liquid out of there. And as your pan is holding up, you want to take your peanut oil. Get your peanut oil there. And usually, with meat or chicken, you would put your meat or chicken in first. Uh, because this is already cooked, it'll take the asparagus a little bit longer to cook. So your asparagus is actually going to go in first. You want to make sure your pan is just starting to smoke. Now this is getting hot. Usually I would turn the fan on. I'm not going to do that. We're going to take our asparagus, put it in. It should make that sound. You want to get that a little smooth. Get it well coated. And give that a little hit of pepper. Good size to the pepper, and then you can add a little salt for that. Remember, you're going to be using the soy sauce in the recipe, so you do not want to use too much salt. Now, you don't want this to cook down too much. You want it to still be crunched. Just a little bit of crunch it's going to give you. 
Now at this point you can add your tempeh. Now the tempeh is going to absorb a lot of that oil really quickly. So I may have to add a little bit back in. Right, but that was, uh, I think we're in really nice shape here. Now the other thing you can add to this, which I am going to, I'm going to add a, towards the end some red pepper flakes just to give it a little kick. You can also put red chilies in there, you can put jalapeno, you can put any kind of habanada, any kind of hot pepper that you like in there. I don't have any hot peppers. I have some out in the garden, uh, but it's pouring rain right now, so I'm not going to go get it. Um, and it's thundering and lightning out, so I'm just going to use the red pepper flakes. If you want this to brown up, and this won't take very long, but you do want this to color a little bit. Now at this point, you're going to take your garlic now, if you had your regular garlic grater, you would use it, but for some reason mine has gone missing. But I'm going to grate the garlic in here. That way it'll dissolve right away when I move it around. All right? And this is not the device I want to use. It's not the good one. But it will do the trick, I guess. See, the other one I can just reach my knife over and it would be great, but nobody put it back where it belongs. And it's got some nice smell to it, some nice color now. Garlic is starting to smell good. Now this is smelling really good. But we still want a little more color on there. Alright, and now I'm going to add the soy sauce. This gives it a nice color, obviously a nice salty flavor that I love. Don't be shy about the soy sauce. And that's got a really nice smell to it already, nice flavor, browning up nicely. And what I need now is a feta. I should have been better prepared with a platter, but we're going to transfer this to a platter. A nice look to it. We don't start the platter on fire. That's down here. We're going to wipe our pan clean. And at this point, I'm going to add a little more peanut oil. And then I'm going to immediately turn the heat off. I'm going to whisk up my eggs. And I'm going to these eggs up. The pan is plenty hot to cook these eggs. Move it up to the size. You can see the eggs already cooked. Already cooked. Now I'm going to add back in my tempeh and asparagus and I'm going to mix that up good. And now I'm going to take my rice, I'm going to add some rice in, I'm going to mix that good, and just like that you have a very nice, simple, fast asparagus with tempeh, tempeh. If you don't want to eat meat tonight, oh, it's got a lot of protein, it's got the asparagus which is Fresh asparagus from right here in Hatfield, Massachusetts. The asparagus capital of the world, my friend. I don't care what Hadley says. I don't care what Northampton says. I don't care what Waitley says. There you have it. A simple tempeh asparagus brown rice dish. 
easy, filled with protein, absolutely delicious. If your family has become vegetarians or if you just want something different, try it. It's good. It's Kyle's recipe. Kyle, thank you for sending this in. And for sending this in, you win a $25 gift certificate to Gaucho's Brazilian Steakhouse in Manchester. Until next time, it's the recipe of the week.